What is going on, Mavaholics? Your man, Chris Maverick, as always, got my best friend, cameraman, the Manny Onati. What up? And welcome to another live food vlog. Now, we're actually over here at the D. The D Hotel. So, we actually heard, I actually heard about this place that's actually been around, you know, for a very long time. I mean, like, back in, like, the 1900s. It's actually called Coney Island. Now, I actually looked these guys up. It looks like they got some really delicious looking, you know, burgers, hot dogs, chili dogs. They got chili fries. You know, I'm sure they got, you know, shakes and stuff like that. You know, a lot of classic foods that they had, you know, in the diners, you know, back in the good old days. So, we're about to try some good old food. So, because uh, to be honest, I never even heard of this place before. You know, I just happened to randomly look them up. I saw they were located right here at the D Hotel. You know, I always wonder why they call it the D Hotel. Anyway, so obviously it's over here at the hotel, and obviously this place has been open for a really long time, so we're gonna try some good old fashioned all American food. So I might try to see what they got on the menus, you know, try to compare prices, you know, all that good jazz. But if I'm in the mood, I might give me a good old burger, some hot dogs, you know. We're gonna get the works today. So I'm gonna give you guys my final review at the very end, you know, and I'll rate this place, you know, and uh, I'll give you guys my opinion if we'll come back. So let's do this. Bite of a coney dog. Chucky avoided me, right? Didn't want none of the Maverick.
floor. So we just got done eating at America Coney Island. Now, before I go into my final review of this place, I did a little survey of this place. Now, apparently this place is actually originated from Detroit, Michigan, so of course it specializes in Detroit dogs. So I'll admit that was actually the first time I ever had a Detroit dog here in Vegas. And uh, yeah, so on with the review. So obviously the place was really good. Um, what I did is I ordered a hot dog, a burger, and I got some chili cheese fries. Now, I was actually confused as shit, <laughs> to be honest, because when I told the lady I ordered a burger, she said that, oh, the, that I already got the burger. Okay, then I'm looking at my order, and I, and I see two hot dogs. It was two, uh, the styrofoam packages of two hot dogs and my chili cheese fries. But as soon as I opened it, that's when she told me, oh, the burger comes in a hot dog bun. Now, to be honest, I don't know what's the point of putting a burger in a hot dog bun. I mean, because at the end of the day, it was still ground beef. So it was pretty much just ground beef shoved in a bun. So it's like, you call this a burger? So anyway, I tried the hot dog. The hot dog is really good. The chili was excellent. I think what could make it better is if they grilled the onions, you know, kind of, you know, make it like a, like an animal style type of hot dog thing. But, but hey, this was like back in the 1900s. That's how they made the dogs. So, hey, it's a tra is there a tradition? So. I can't change their tradition. Use a bitch! Obviously the hot dog was really good, I enjoyed the chili cheese fries, but the real, the real star of those meals was the chili, I think, in my opinion. I thought it was some really good chili. It just had, it has a good flavor to it. It was, some, it was like real, not like, not necessarily thick, but it wasn't runny either, so it, was, it had a good consistency and the chili. Now the burger, to be honest, I really didn't care for just because it was just pretty much just a bunch of ground beef. It just made a, made a complete mess when I was trying to eat it. Oh my God, my house is full of shit. He shit everywhere. Look what he did, he shit all over the wall. And uh, yeah, so I think the burger, I wouldn't order that again, but the hot dogs, the hot dogs are definitely good. And you'd be amazed because I never realized that this place was right off of Fremont Street, that it was right on Fremont Street. And you know Fremont Street, there's always some crazy shit <laughs> on Fremont Street. I mean, hell, when we were looking around, we held, we actually saw a nun, actually there with no, her tits out, hanging out and everything. And I gotta say, those those were some nasty looking titties, to be honest, because her tits are already sagging down. And imagine when she's 80, they're gonna hang down to her knees, son. So it's like, <laughs> zero <laughs> given. But, yeah, like I said, Fremont Street, you see some crazy shit. And obviously we did. And we even saw a concert. They had a, it was a country rock band playing. And even the bums were getting down and having a good time. So obviously you know you're in Fremont Street when even the bums are having a good time. But back to the review of Coney Island. So obviously this place is really good. You know, the prices are actually really good prices. So, so yeah, can't complain on that. Would I come back to this place? You know I would. So obviously this place is really good. I would definitely come back. It, the money is definitely worth it. I will say the only downside to this place is the portions. So portions weren't that weren't that great. It wasn't that big. But I mean, cheap prices. So I mean, I mean you get you gotta look at it. You know, is it really getting? Are you really getting your money's worth, or do you want to be full? But. But obviously, it was still a good place, so I would definitely come back and, you know, grub on some more food. So, that is tonight's food vlog. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media. I got it all. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. And whatever else is going to come out, you know I got it. So, like I said, keep your eyes open too, because we got more upcoming projects coming up. And, uh, let's just say, we're going to do some clowning around. So, until then, we're out!